Now let's see the structure of the tonsil. The tonsil is a mass of the lymphoid tissue and covered partially by the stratified squamous epithelium which is non-keratinized in nature. The tonsil consists of numerous lymphatic follicles and these lymphatic follicles are more around the crypt of the tonsil. When we see the one lymphatic follicle outside it looks like this and it has the numerous lymphocytes within it and in the center there is a pale staining area and this pale staining area in the center it is called as the germinal center. These lymphocytes they appear in the cleft and they washed out with the saliva. Now let's see the blood supply of the tonsil. The tonsil it is going to be supplied by four arteries named anterior tonsillar artery, posterior tonsillar artery, superior tonsillar artery and inferior tonsillar artery. For understanding this arterial supply of the tonsil, let's imagine the relations of the tonsils. We know that anteriorly there is a tongue lies in relation to the tonsil and that's why the anterior tonsillar artery is a branch of the dorsal lingual artery. The posterior pharyngeal artery should be from the posterior to the tonsil and just posterior to the tonsil we know there is a there is pharynx and this posterior tonsillar artery that's why it is a branch of ascending palatine branch of the facial artery as well as the ascending pharyngeal artery. The superior tonsillar artery is a branch of greater palatine artery which is ultimately a branch of maxillary artery. We know that the superior to the tonsil there is palate and from this palate the greater palatine artery supply the tonsil. And the most important branch which is going to supply the tonsil is this inferior tonsillar artery and this inferior tonsillar artery is a branch of the facial artery which is going to pierce the superior constrictor muscle and going to supply the tonsil. Ligature of this inferior tonsillar artery is an important step in the surgical removal of the tonsil. Now when we see the venous drainage of this tonsil it is via this very important peritonsillar vein and this peritonsillar vein ultimately drain into the pharyngeal venous plexus or in the common facial vein which is going to drain into internal jugular vein. Injury to this peritonsillar vein it is the most common cause for the hemorrhage at the time of the surgical removal of the tonsil. Now let's see the lymphatic drainage of the tonsil. The tonsil is going to drain into the jugulodigastric lymph node and this jugulodigastric lymph node it is situated between the gap of the internal jugular vein into which the facial vein drain. And this lymph nodes are present just near the digastric muscle and these lymph nodes are called as the jugulodigastric lymph node. As these lymph nodes are commonly enlarged in case of the infection of the tonsil and that's why it is also called as the principal lymph node of tonsil. When we see the nerve supply of the tonsil, it is supplied by this glossopharyngeal nerve which is going to supply the tongue as well as it is also going to supply the tonsil and the other nerve which are going to supply the tonsil these are the greater palatine nerves as well as the lesser palatine nerves which are the branches of the pterygopalatine ganglion both these nerves these are responsible for getting the general sensation as well as the taste sensation from the tonsil 
as this tonsil is going to supply by the glossopharyngeal nerve so sometimes the referred pain from the infected tonsil may extend into the middle ear because both are supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve sometimes the patients complain of the loss of the taste sensation after tonsillectomy due to the involvement of this glossopharyngeal nerve the tonsil is going to develop from the ventral part of the second pharyngeal pouch where this intratonsillar cleft it is the remnant of the second pharyngeal pouch while the lymphocytes are going to derive from the mesoderm of the adjoining arches or from circulating blood or lymph so it's all about the tonsil hope you understand well and thanks for watching